In this demonstration, we will cover the rolling upgrades feature built into HC3's HyperCore operating system. This feature allows administrators to upgrade the entirety of their infrastructure all at the push of a button and all without any downtime associated with the running workloads on their system. This greatly simplifies the upgrade process over a traditional architecture where each layer in the stack is updated independently. That means the SAM, the NAS, the hypervisor, the servers, all upgraded independently, forcing the IT admin in a lot of cases to take downtime, but then also to check that hardware compatibility list to verify that the interoperability of the components still exist and are still supported for the entire stack. Now you'll notice on the left-hand side I have connected to the HC3 user interface by pointing my browser to one of the IP addresses of the nodes in the cluster. On the right hand side I have actually remotely connected into a virtual machine running on HC3 and I've set off a bat script to simulate some form of load on the system by simply logging a timestamp to a log on the desktop. As this upgrade progresses my virtual machine on the right hand side will never experience any downtime and this is accomplished through the use of the live migration feature built into HyperCore. When an upgrade is selected, HC3 will migrate the VMs off of the first node in the cluster, upgrade the node, rebooting when required, and then return those VMs to their original position before continuing on to the next node in the cluster. That means that best practices require that you keep enough available resources to take over the workloads of any given node in the cluster, and that exists for both rolling upgrades but also for high availability. And of course, we will alert users if for some reason this condition is not met. This progresses node by node until the entire system is upgraded to the new release. Now historically this has been roughly around 50 to 20 minutes per node, but please do check the release notes for any specific release to verify that. For this particular demonstration, we've cut this down to roughly 2 minutes and 30 seconds through a time lapse. As new releases to HyperCore become available, users can simply click to upgrade to take advantage of the new features. As an example, customers running our HyperCore 5.0 code can now take advantage of the new user interface and the replication features built into HyperCore 6.0, all without any additional licensing fees. And on the left-hand side, I have logged back into my cluster, and you can see that the VMs have returned to their original position. And on the right-hand side, my running VM has continued logging those timestamps, all without disruption. For more information on rolling upgrades or HC3 in general, feel free to sign up for our weekly demo or request a live chat on our website at www.scalecomputing.com and we'd be happy to answer your questions and spec out a system that will work for your environment.